Good day everyone, this is Ma'am Sheila and today we are going to discuss the different conditions that make a quadrilateral a parallelogram. Actually, there are six conditions that will guarantee us that a quadrilateral is a parallelogram. So let us, let us discuss it one by one. Number one, opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent. So in the given figure, quadrilateral PQRS, it says that PQ, the segment PQ is parallel to SR. So PQ is parallel to SR. And or also PS, segment PS is parallel to segment QR. By this statement, we can say that it is a parallelogram because the opposite sides are parallel. But even though we do not have this statement, we can still say that the given quadrilateral PQRS is a parallelogram. Why? It is because of the second statement that the segment PQ is congruent to SR. So segment PQ is congruent to segment SR and also segment PS is congruent to segment QR. We have here segment PS congruent to segment QR. By this statement, we can say that PQRS is a parallelogram. Why? Because condition number one, if the opposite sides of a quadrilateral are congruent, then it is a parallelogram. Again, this is our condition number one. Opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent. Now let us proceed with number two. Opposite angles of a parallelogram are congruent. This time around, we have quadrilateral LOVE. Based on the statement, it says that angle L is congruent to angle B. So we have here angle L congruent to angle B. And also, angle O is congruent to angle E. We have here angle O. It is congruent with angle E. E. Based on this statement, we can guarantee that quadrilateral LOVE is a parallelogram because in condition number two, if opposite angles of a quadrilateral are congruent, then the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. So that's condition number two. Opposite angles of a parallelogram are congruent. Let us move to the third condition. Diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. We have here the word bisect. If you have the word bisect, it means what? Yes, it means that it is divided, whether it is a segment or an angle. If you have the word bisect, it means it is divided into two equal parts. So we have here quadrilateral HOME. And based on here, we have the segment HM and segment OE that are diagonals. And obviously, the diagonals intersect at point E. And based on our statement, we have here HT is congruent to MT. We have HT congruent to MT, which means that diagonal OE bisect diagonal HM. And also, it says segment ET is congruent to OT. So let's have some markings. Segment ET congruent to segment OT. Since they are congruent, it means that diagonal HM bisect diagonal OE. So they bisect each other. So this statement guarantees us that quadrilateral HOME is a parallelogram. Because if the diagonals of quadrilateral bisect each other, then it is a parallelogram. Now let us have condition number four. Consecutive angles of a parallelogram are supplementary. If you have the word supplementary, supplementary angles, it means that the sum of the two angles is equal to 180 degrees. So based on here, we have here angle C plus angle A. We have angle C and angle A. These are equal to 180. So meaning to say they are supplementary. And then angle A and angle R. Angle A and angle R is also supplementary. It is equal to 180. And also, angle R and angle E. And also, we have angle E and angle C. So, all the pairs of consecutive angles are supplementary. This will guarantee us that quadrilateral CARE is a parallelogram. Because if consecutive angles of a quadrilateral are supplementary, then it is a parallelogram. That is condition number four. Let us have condition number five. 
We have here each diagonal of a parallelogram forms two congruent triangles. We have here quadrilateral HOPE or quadrilateral HOPE. It says here that triangle HEO, we have triangle HEO, we are referring to this triangle. It is congruent to triangle POE. It refers to this triangle. And how does it happen? Paano nagkaroon ng dalawang congruent triangles? That is because we have the diagonal EO. So diagonal EO divides our quadrilateral HO PE into two congruent triangles. We have triangle HEO and triangle POE. And also, the other, the other diagonal, rather, we have here segment HP. That is also a diagonal. And it also divides our quadrilateral into two congruent triangles. The two triangles are, we have triangle HOP. That is congruent to triangle PE. H. So we have here, hope is a parallelogram because each diagonal of a parallelogram forms two congruent triangles. That is condition number five. For the last condition, we have here, one pair of opposite sides is parallel and congruent. So kahit isang pares lang, basta yung pares na yun is parallel and congruent, it will guarantee us that the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. In the given, we have quadrilateral HOME. It says that HO is parallel to EM. So, HO is parallel to EM. At the same time, HO is congruent to EM. So, one pair of opposite sides are parallel and congruent. This is enough for us to say that HOME is a parallelogram. That is by condition number 6. Now, let us apply the conditions that we have discussed. Given the following conditions, I have here 1, 2, 3, and 4. Let us determine if NICE, quadrilateral NA, NICE is a parallelogram. This is our figure. So we have number 1. It says that EC, we have here segment EC, is parallel to segment IN. There you have it. And then also we have EN parallel to CI. Can we say through this statement that NIC is a parallelogram? Is it a yes or a no? Yes, we can say that NIC is a parallelogram. Based on the statement, that is already the definition of parallelogram. The two opposite sides are parallel, diba? If the two opposite sides are parallel, then the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. So number one, yes, NIC is a parallelogram. Let us proceed with number two statement. We have angle NEC. Where is NEC? So we have NEC. This is angle NEC. It is congruent to angle CIN. CIN. So this is angle CIN. We also have angle ECI. ECI. We are referring with this angle. Is also congruent to angle INE. INE. So let's have two double markings also here. Now, based on this given statement, is NICE a parallelogram? Yes or no? Yes. Statement number two guarantee us. This statement guarantee that NIC is a parallelogram. Now, what specific condition tell us that it is a parallelogram? Yes, because the opposite angles are congruent. The number two tell us that opposite angles are congruent, therefore NIC is a parallelogram. How about number three? We have here NU congruent to UC. So we have NU and then UC. They are congruent. So let's have markings that the two segments are congruent. We also have EU is congruent to UI. So we have EU congruent to UI. Now, based on this, can we say that NICE is a parallelogram? Yes, very good also. It is a parallelogram. Now, what is specific condition that guarantee us that it is, a actual, it is actually a parallelogram? Okay, very good. The diagonals bisect each other. So, diagonals bisect each other. That is the condition that guarantee that it is a parallelogram. Let us consider number four. We have angle ECN. Where is angle ECN? 
ECN. We are referring with this angle. Okay, kapalan natin para mas makita nyo. It is congruent to angle INC. We have INC. This one is INC. Okay, yung makapal na markings, these are the two angles. It says that the two angles are congruent. Another is that angle INC. Angle, ay, we have segment EN, I mean. Segment EN is parallel to CI. Segment EN, yes, same marking. That is parallel to segment CI. Okay, yun ang atin. We have angle ECN and we have angle INC. And then we have segment EN parallel to segment CI. Can we say that the quadrilateral is a parallelogram? Is it a yes or a no? Any guess? Yes, NICE is a parallelogram. How did we say so? Take note, we have this angle ECN and angle, angle INC. Given that these two angles are congruent, it means that our diagonal here is a transversal. Ano? And if angle ECN is congruent to INC, it means that Alternative, in alternate, I mean alternate interior angles are congruent. This tell us that the lines here are actually parallel. So, kung congruent ito, alternate interior angles, it means that these two are parallel. And sabi din kanina that these two are also parallel. So, based on the definition, the two opposite sides are actually parallel. Then, it tell us that NIC is a parallelogram. Another activity, in here, it is in the statement that quadrilateral MATH is a parallelogram. So what are we going to do here is we are going to complete the statement. We are going to fill in the blanks, knowing that the given quadrilateral is a parallelogram. So we have number one, MA is congruent to what? MA is congruent to what? Yes, it is congruent to segment HT. Paano nating nasabi that MA is congruent to HT? It is because, sabe, it is a parallelogram. Therefore, the opposite sides MA and HT must be congruent. So it is MA congruent to HT. Now let us have number two, triangle MAH. So we have triangle MAH. It is congruent to what? It is congruent to triangle. Yes, it must be T. H A yes triangle M A H is congruent to triangle T H A. What condition tell us that these two triangles are congruent? Yes, each diagonal forms two congruent triangles. It means that the diagonal H A divides the quadrilateral M A T H into two congruent triangles, and these are triangle M A H and triangle T H A. Okay, so let's proceed with the next one. MS is congruent to what? We have MS. It is congruent to what? Yes, it is congruent to ST. So, MS is congruent to ST. How did we say so? What condition will guarantee us that the two segments are congruent? Yes, diagonal bisect each other. Ibig sabihin, AH divide MT into two equal segments. We have MS and ST. Because it says that MATH is a parallelogram, so AH bisect MT. Let's have another one. How about triangle THM? This time around, we have triangle THM. THM, we are referring with this triangle. THM, it is congruent to what triangle? THM, so that is MAT. Again, we have here our diagonal MT divide our quadrilateral MATH into two congruent triangles. And these are triangle THM and triangle MAT. And then lastly, we have triangle ATH. Triangle ATH, we are referring with this triangle. ATH, it is congruent to what triangle? Ay, angle, I mean. Angle ATH is congruent to what angle? That is angle. We have HMA. Yes, we have here HMA. These two angles are congruent. What, what condition did we apply? Yes, in a parallelogram, opposite angles are congruent. Since these two are opposite angles and MATH is a parallelogram, so we have ATH congruent to angle HMA. Again, these are the conditions that will guarantee that a quadrilateral is a parallelogram.
Number one, opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent. Two, opposite angles of a parallelogram are also congruent. Three, consecutive angles of a parallelogram are supplementary. Four, the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. Five, either or each diagonal of a parallelogram forms two congruent triangles. And then lastly, one pair of opposite sides is parallel and congruent. So that is the lesson for today. I hope you get it. Thank you for watching.